first meeting this year, instead of an eight point deficit, the final media timeout, it was a five point deficit, yeah. but the Bucks are able to come back and take another win from the Mercer Bears. You know, I think this is the best win I've had as the head coach of East Tennessee State, in my opinion. This was a great win. What a great effort by our players to come into a very hostile environment with the team with their back to the wall. We stuck it out. We stuck. We had some tough times, but we kept with it, and we won the game. When you go win on the road in a tough spot like this, you got to have somebody step up and have a special day. Gilon Gwynn was, he, he was on, I don't even know words because he's playing how well he played. I mean, he was unbelievable. And then DeSante Bradford, again in the second half, just took his game to another level. You know, and then we went pressure at the end, and, they, and I'm telling you guys, Deuce Bell is as good as I've ever coached in 95 or our press. He is so good at that. He can really deflect balls. You know, he can uh, steal the ball. He's so good. And DeSante was really good in it. We used everybody today. I got really frustrated with our bigs. Guys. I was really not happy at halftime. We were four for 12 inside the paint in the first half. That's ridiculous. We just had some guys, a couple guys didn't come ready to play. So I played Toriano, I played Nigel. I kept trying to find the right guy in there. I played Lester at the five today. I didn't care. We were trying to win. And so um, in the end, it was a hodgepodge group that got it done, but, but, but they played so hard and they never gave up. You know, and, they, and when they had to, we defended. And I don't remember what, the, what did they shoot for the game? 45. Yeah, and that's, they shoot 46 on the year in their house. That's a really good number for us.